Hello guys, we continue working on our checklister project, but today we're going a little back. So what you're about to see is an unpublished lesson, which was published on Teachable in the course version of the checklister. And some time ago, I decided to take it back and publish everything on YouTube. So it's not for premium members only. So this lesson was not published and it was kind of a separate extra lesson on Livewire, how to make this list of tasks sortable. So you'll see that next on YouTube. But if you want to support my mission of daily videos, you can still purchase the course, go to laravel.daily.teachable.com and you will get those lessons quicker because I will publish them quicker on Teachable than on YouTube. Now let's get to Livewire. When working with checklists, I personally use Todoist for managing my daily tasks. I figure out that sorting of the tasks is really important. And although the client didn't specify that in the specification, I think we do need to sort the tasks in the task list. And for that, we will implement that in this lesson. We will implement it with Laravel Livewire. So this table will become a Livewire component. And also we will use Livewire Sortable, kind of a mini plugin to make that drag and droppable. So we will drag and drop the tasks and add the positions. First, we need to add the structure to that. So we need to generate the migration. PHP Artisan make migration add position to tasks table. It generates the migration and we add a field in that new migration table unsigned integer because it cannot be negative position, right? And then let's actually run that migration. Great. And then we add that position to the fillable of the task model. So position. And we need to take care of adding the position automatically for every new task. We do that in tasks controller store method. So on top of request validated, or in addition to request validated, we will add one more field. So request validated is an array and we can add another array of position equals position. And position variable will be equal maximum of current positions in that checklist plus one. So checklist tasks max of position that's a collection method plus one and let's try it out so we currently have task one task two and task three without the position for now and if we add task four something we save the task it is added successfully and in the database we go to our data refresh and we have the position one great if we add the task five then we have the position two. And if we add the task to another checklist, for example, it should have position one. Let's test it. Refresh, position one. Great. Now for now, let's delete all the tasks to start fresh with position zero. And we go to one of the checklists and add, for example, again, task one, task two and task three. And next thing we will do is deleting the task because whenever it's deleted, it should be reordered again. So for example, if I delete the task with position two, then all the other tasks below should come up the order and should take the position of two and below. So we go to destroy method of our task here and we need to do, I will test if it works, checklist tasks where position is bigger than current task position. Task position, that operator is relevant. Update, and update with what? Position equals, not sure if it would work or should it be DB query, position minus one, something like this. Let's try it out. And of course, we need to do that before it's deleted. Okay. Let's try it out. Let's delete the task of task two. Okay. Probably should throw an error in correct integer value. Position minus one. It should be in DB row probably. DB row. Position one. Let's try that again. Okay. It's successful now. So let's see. Refresh the page and we have the task three moved to position number two. That task two is deleted, well, soft deleted, and the position came up, great. And now let's make it drag and droppable. For that, we will install Laravel Livewire and make that table into Livewire components. So compose require Livewire, Livewire. 
<clears throat> then we need to add live wire scripts and live wire styles to our main app blade, which is layouts app here. So down below we need to add live wire scripts. And at the top we need to add live wire styles in the head, live wire styles. And then we can create a live wire component of PHP Artisan, make live wire, for example, tasks table like this. No, and we open that tasks table. It looks like this. And inside of our edit blade for the checklist, instead of that table, instead of this table, we add live wire tasks table like this. And let's see if it works. We refresh and we should see some kind of text. Tasks table component. Oh, it's tasks. <clears throat> of course, we need to refer that to tasks dash table. Okay, great. And we don't see anything yet. Let's open tasks table blade tasks dash dash table. And let's add any text here. A, A, A. And let's see if it's here. Great. So live wire works. And generally, I like to use live wire for such small dynamic pieces of the page, which is like table of the tasks. But now we need to move our logic from the blade from the checklist edit. So this table into the live wire component, live wire component needs to have one root HTML component. And in our case, it won't be div, it will be table, the same table. And we need to provide the variable of checklist somehow. So we can pass that as a parameter of checklist, checklist, like this. And then in the task table, the main component, we need to accept that as public checklist, like this. And let's see if it works or breaks. Refresh, it still shows the table and the links work and everything's great. So the link itself, if we go to edit, this is not live wire anymore, just the table is live wire. And for now, we didn't implement any sorting, we just moved the table to live wire component. And now let's add the sortable here in the live wire sortable plugin. To install that, we need just to add the script from the CDN. So let's add that in the app blade below the live wire scripts here copy paste. And then we need to sort the table with some parameters. So first wire sortable is update task order. And we need to provide that on here on the table itself. So update task order, that's exactly actually what we need to call that function. And update task order should be a method in live wire component here. So public function, update task order, what we need then we need to have wire sortable item and wire key. So for every row of the table, in this example on GitHub, it's a lie, it's a list. In our case, it's a table. So every row of the table needs to have something like this. And this is exactly what we have as an example. We have task ID as identifier of each row. So we don't need to change anything here. And let's see how it works. To show you how it works in update task order, all I need to do for now is DD the parameter to that order. So tasks will be the parameter. And let's see what that live wire sortable returns. So if I try to reorder the tasks, for example, I refresh the page and it's already sortable. So I can drag and drop, for example, task one below. And let's see what is returned. So I will zoom it in for you. It's array of two items. And first item is order one from value 19. And second item is order two with value 17. And those values are actually the IDs or the keys that were specified. And if we take a look at the database, value 19 is ID of task three and value 17 is ID of task one. So all we need to do basically is to update the order, update the positions. So for each tasks as task, we need to do task where ID or actually find value task value update position equals task order or task order is an array. Okay, task order, something like this. And then in the render, we need to fetch the tasks again. So tasks, let it be checklist tasks 
I think it's sort by or order by position. And here we have this checklist and compact of tasks. And in here we don't need the checklist tasks anymore. We just need the tasks. Okay, let's try it out again. We refresh, we don't have sort by, so it should be order by because sort by is the collection sorting and order by is eloquent. Okay, that works. List of tasks. We don't have any tasks. Of course, it's get. So get the tasks, refresh. And now let's try to reorder. And it is saved in the database. Is it? Let's try to refresh and it is saved. So now we can reorder back, for example, and refresh the page and it is saved again. So we made our sorting work with Livewire.